Oh, okay. Hey Samuel, um, yeah, we're uh, outside the Barnes and Noble down here on Murray Street in Tribeca. Um, as you see in the description, uh, Anthony uh, Kuma is going to be basically doing a book signing for his book today at this location. Um, from what I know, a number of people have called their press their media department have called their uh, store manager um, in protest to them actually hosting this book signing here um, one of the main reasons is he he has a strong connection to individuals such as Gavin uh, with the Proud Boys um, also, a number of racist slants that have taken place um, over the years. Um, just take a look at his Twitter account. Um, and you will see, without a doubt, that um, he's someone who promotes and uses their position as a way to promote hate. Um, and there's no place in New York City or New York State for hate of any type, period. The fact that this book is basically being promoted and glorifying the fact that he got fired because of his hate speech. That's not, just ain't right. I mean, even when calling their offices, their 800 number, a number of their employees were not happy with the fact that he's actually doing a book signing here. Uh, what can you say? Uh, it's one of those things that needs to change um, and obviously Barnes and Noble um, isn't gonna you know make a difference isn't gonna make a change about that uh, NYPD has come by to check things out but basically it's been Barnes and Noble security keeping an eye on things um, they basically call NYPD if they think there is a large enough number and they need to have someone out here um, based on NYPD's pattern, they'll probably send about two cars down uh, just to do like sidewalk patrol and say you can't block the doorways, etc., etc. Um, but those of you who remember the Proud Boys over at the Republican Club, the NYPD has a tendency to protect racist, Islamophobic, hate female beating pieces of trash um, a number of times, especially if they have the label Proud Boys on them. Um, so. The idea of this event going on uh, basically occurred because a number of people mentioned that he was going to be holding the uh, book signing here. And in order to um, Join in solidarity um, with this. Um, we wanted to at least make a statement. Um, right now, there's about seven people down here. Uh, a few people are here. A few people are inside without signs. Um, he's expected to be here and actually uh, start doing his book signing at six o'clock so he should be arriving here in a little bit if he's not already here um, and we just want to make this statement educate the people that you have a white supremacist that's coming here to do a book signing now I know there's a number of people who are supposed to be coming down also today uh, if you're watching and you're nearby, definitely come on down. Um, um, heard it. 
Um, a large percentage of his audience, um, Gavin with the Proud Boys, um, Anthony actually helps to um, promote that show. Um, and someone was saying also produce the show uh, for Gavin. Um, so I can't say, even if he's not calling himself a Proud Boy, he definitely is a strong supporter of the Proud Boy agenda. And I'll be honest, uh, there was a debate initially about whether or not to do this, whether or not it would only help to draw attention towards his book signing. Um, but, you know, the necessity outweighed the uh, impact it might have. And as you can see, once we once they started streaming, uh, Barnes and Noble security basically went inside. Um, Promoting why he got actually fired. So the idea of him making money off of... His book is literally called Suspended. Or permanently it, Suspended. He wouldn't be getting the book deal if it wasn't for the racist remarks and getting fired. Anthony, Anthony Camilla. Anthony. Anthony Camilla. Fired Huge fired following. I'm not going to repeat it, but I can show you all plenty of history. Let's see you in my uh, <laughs> Camille. Sure. See you in my uh, you can Google. Okay, so uh, right now. Um, can anyone give me, uh, actually, hold on, I had that myself, uh, it's 5.39, so if his book signing is at 6 o'clock, to start he is either here already or on his way, uh, just about ready to arrive. So it's going to be interesting, and I'm pretty sure some of his people are already down here. Um, then I can be pretty sure of. This isn't, just for people who know, this isn't just a random thing based on one incident. There's a long track record and a long history of his interactions, uh, not just his statements. It's like I said before, comedians are comedians. I, I understand that and there are certain things that they say, whether you like it or not, um, shock value, education, there are reasons behind it. But he's crossed the prep for the boundaries way too many times um, and his huge rant regarding the one woman from Times Square um, was the um, thing that you know thanks. yeah guys uh, this is exactly what I was talking about so it's like Hey Gilbert. 
Yep. Yep. No room in New York for hate from anyone. And fuck the Proud Boys. Yep. Well, I did it intentionally. Well, you notice he walked off. The one guy sort of walked off. So, um, yeah. Have you seen that guy who was taking pictures of us before? Uh, no, but there's a whole, there are a whole different group of people who go to this Barnes and Noble and stuff, so. No, no, the guy who was taking pictures of us, I wasn't sure if you had seen him out. No, I haven't for that. Um, he could have been doing it for the sign, yeah, just out of interest. I mean, you always keep it in your mind, back of your mind for future reference. Exactly. You know. It's only like 12. Well, I mean, that's why it's like sometimes I've had people. I've had people holding signs and then they get upset when someone takes a picture. I'm like, no, oh, that's no, the I. Mean, I, I not, not you, but others. I'm like, that's why you do it. Why Hey guys, uh, yeah, we're outside Barnes and Noble down here on Murray, uh, the Tribeca Barnes and Noble. Um, Anthony Camilla is going to be down here doing a book signing at six o'clock. Um, main objective is basically just to draw awareness for people to know, you know, what's actually going on. Um, We've had a number of people actually call Barnes & Noble corporate about this. Um, just that we feel there should never be a place for the promotion of hate, especially within New York City. Um, we already have enough issues, and in the climate that the world is today, anything that glorifies hate or promotes anyone who glorifies hate in any way, shape, or form, you know, you need to draw attention to it, no matter how small or how large the numbers. And there's supposed to be about 30 people that are on their way down here. Uh, whether they're here or not, this is going to be going on. Psy silence equals complicity, always. Okay, uh, if you're in the area, definitely come on down. Um, like I said, we have a couple of people outside, a couple of people inside, but it would be nice to raise the numbers, and I know about 30 of you are supposed to be heading down here. The um, sooner you get down here, the better, definitely will be happy. But like I said, we're going to be out here. If you can't make it down, give a call to Barnes & Noble Corporate, their PR department, uh, their media department, their corporate numbers. You can use their 800 numbers. If you go on their website, you can definitely find uh, the numbers. And I actually think there actually may be the cell phone numbers also of uh, the uh, managers uh, for this location and the managers for uh, Barnes & Noble Corporate. Give them a call. Let them know how, you know, if you're unhappy with it, give them a call. 
could be a fraud and loss with his hatred. Video in 2017, he was arrested for a false life, and now he wrote a book about the incredible man who was racist, and he was signing for it. Right now, 6 o'clock. Go to wait to the seat. Wait, by the kids section. There's four people waiting in line. I mean, to make money off of, you know, that's just... Brother, anybody have anything to say? I'm Anthony Cumia's brother. Anybody have anything to say to me? We have a right to No, for real. No, I honestly would like to hear the side. That's why it was like a debate a while rather than do it. No, you see, the you thing is, we don't, we don't come to places that people are employed. We don't come to where people earn their living and make it impossible for them to do so, including every race. There's not a single person of color, an Asian, uh, uh, Hispanic, it doesn't matter. There's no one that Anthony has ever prevented from making a living, making their living. Oh okay. What he does. But he signed, but he signed, but hold on. So you're going to tell me, so explain to me. Therefore, he's not I mean, I honestly like to know both sides, you know what I mean? Second. Why, why, why do you, what's your name, sir, sir? Why do you classify him as a white supremacist? Why, why, why? Sir. what has he done? What has he done to prove his white supremacy? I'd love to hear. I have the tweets right here where he used the N word and he also called OJ Simpson a spook. Oh, oh, so, 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 so I'm you're saying, so, so you're You're saying that interested. speech uh -huh. makes you a white supremacist. Hate you're speech. saying that speech, speech no, 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 oh, no, 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 no. And then you employ, you employ white supremacist. Yeah. Being white, a here for white a book signing. Ask his brother employ any questions you may have. Yes, he does. White supremacist being Are you talking about Gavin? Gavin the Gavin? Well, Gavin's a whole other. Guys, don't go, don't get in an argument on Gavin because. You guys know where the Proud Boys came from? Do you yeah. know where came from? Yeah, I trust people. I find, I find, my, name, my name is Joseph Cunha. Joseph Cunha. Yeah, I'm Anthony And I also understand the separation, why they pulled away from the original oh, group and stuff. I know. The, or, the original. That was a whole other. Who has since become classified through, due to due to several bad bad seeds. There were there were some people in there that were genuinely bad people. Thank you. They were genuinely bad people. What happened was they were the ones. They were the ones that made the Proud Boys become what people have now that the people now know them to be. When it started, it was a joke in the studio. Had to do with Ben Ratner, the, uh, the and, and it was a it was a, a play. Yeah. Proud of my boy, a song is playing Proud of my yeah. boy. And Gavin, when Gavin was working, they used to goof on Ben, saying, you know, how his parents were proud of him for doing what he does. And Ben Ratner, by the way, has since won a Grammy. So, you know, I mean, that has, you know, it's, it's, yeah. Are you gonna believe? Are you gonna believe an 82nd Airborne veteran? 59-year-old father of father of four. But you're gonna protect your brother no matter what. I I, I respect I that. Anyone, I respect I that. Protect, I will protect anyone that deserves protection. Okay. Whether whether or not he's my brother, what I'm doing, he's not a racist. You are the white so Why would you why would you I grew, I grew why would you I don't care why would you employ me? I can't, I, you know, I, 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 I'd like to hear, I'd like to hear your definition. What's your definition of a race? I have, there's a recording. No, 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 no. Uh, your definition. What is it that Gavin has done that makes him a race? If you grab what the Proud Boys do, no, the Proud Boys don't belong to Gavin. Bullshit! Then why was he at a fucking event on 86th Street? Hold on, why was he at a event on 86th Street? a motherfucking month ago and pulling out a sword and then hanging with a bunch of white supremacists in the middle of the street telling people, let's fight. They're not. Look at the fucking page. Go to their, go to their website. Can I agree with me? Have a debate, have a discussion. You know, Anyone who's not aware of uh, the incident that happened at the Republican Club actually needs to take a look at it. Uh, because the reality is what happened at the Republican Club, uh, the guy in the red hat is 100% right about what happened there. Um, he has the right to call him a moron. That's exactly right. Everybody has all those rights. Call them a 
White supremacists being hosted at Barnes and Nobles. White supremacists being hosted at Barnes and Nobles for a book party. Joseph, what do you do? Are you part of the entities? White supremacists being hosted at Barnes and Nobles for a book party. Look at Thomas. Look at Thomas. You're a very sleeper event. What was that? You're a vet? You said you're a veteran? I am, 82nd. Yeah, you're a veteran. 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 You're So there are two sides to every story going on. Right. Things. Barnes and Noble should never have a white supremacist in their in, in their store ever. Oh, but Anthony Cumia is not a white supremacist, so you're mistaken. They should they they should also not have liars standing out in front of their store saying things that aren't true. You shouldn't have a liar for a president, yo. Shit doesn't happen that way. A liar for a president. Wait a second. Wait a second. So you're so you're saying since Trump is a liar, hatred. you're allowed to be here and be a liar. Hey, you're against Why hatred. Are you wearing a mask? Is that man? Why are you wearing a mask? Is that man? Is that man? Hatred has sprung up in America. No, America is known for hatred. Hatred's, hatred's always been in America. It's this list. And now it's getting put under a lens. This list is not like there ever was. Oh, that's bullshit. Don't you see? Don't you see life as it is? You ever get out from under the hood? You ever go anywhere? Where have you been? Where have you been? Why is that any business of yours? Because, because you think you're older. Because you think you're more traveled, right? I'm trying to understand what you're more traveled. You're more traveled. You're right. That's right. That's right. I'm right about my brother. Your brother is an unabashed racist. Thank you, Kat, for putting up the number. Um, yeah, and in some people's eyes, yeah, Anthony could be classified as a white supremacist. Um, does he have racist tendencies? Yes. Um, has he? Was he fired because of racist remarks? Yes. Uh, whether or not, it just depends on who you're talking about, how you classify white supremacist uh, versus just a racist. Um, so it's it's two different sides. Yes. It's fucking cold. I ain't got no hat. I don't care about his name. He's sitting right the fuck on there. Come on, now. His name is on there. There's nothing to do. Nothing to do with what he's doing. Can I get a mine? Yeah. Can I get Yeah, go ahead. No, there's just plenty of room and no one's. <laughs> <laughs> well, people all, people always get nervous. I'm like, just walk through. Okay. I'm not. He If you if you're not a racist, I'm asking you a question. Then why would you let Gary be a TV show? First of all, it's not a TV show. If you have a TV show, you can't be a TV show. One thing I will say is. The idea of debate, people actually talking, is what needs to happen a lot more. Um, it doesn't happen. You don't have to agree with each other, but at least if you can hold a conversation. I can call you a racist. Does it make you a racist? Joe Rogan is a known racist. Joe Rogan is a known racist. How is he a no? What has he done to people? To people of country? Who is he racist against? First of all, does he just does he, does he believe that does he believe that his his race is so much better than every other race that that makes that, that makes him a racist? Well, tell me what he does to prove his race. Paul Barnes and Noble's national council holds white supremacists. I'm not understanding what you're trying to say. What you, how you're trying to define a racist? If you if you if, if you, call me, if, you call me, if you call me a guinea, if you call me a wop, does that make you a racist? Yes. It does. Yes. According to this wop, so, it does. Yeah, and they posted up the number. It makes, it White supremacist can be posted up to the Barnes and Nobles. Yeah, um, 
All I'd say is for everyone also, um, because I, I always believe that there are two sides to every story, is to definitely do your research. Um, don't just follow along because we're saying it or anyone is saying it or protesting. Do your own research. Um, and not just, you know, a basic Google search, but actually read articles and get a background about everything uh, so that you have a better understanding about why people are doing what they're doing. Um, you know, it, it's important. It's not just... It's, just, it's not just about taking what people say, but also about, um, you know, understanding what's going on out there. Um, the gentleman over there who happens to be Anthony's brother, um, you know, it may seem confrontational, but he's having an actual dialogue. Um, it's not something that's physical, it's, it's an actual discussion going on back and forth. Um, and even though it can be arguments, it's still a plain, simple discussion that's going on, which is important. Um, but, you know, like I said, don't just take the word of what we're saying. Research, formulate your own opinions um, about it. Okay, so I know currently a lot of you are calling Barnes and Noble corporate. Um, so words aren't racist. Okay. Racist, I, I, as I was mentioning to the audience, I was saying that I want them to do their own research. Because if, if it's you, like, if I call someone in, let no, me say, if I, I call I, someone in, yeah, it's a racist. Yeah, I'm saying, it's like you're racist and then you have white supremacist. It's a borderline thing, but I still want people to do their own research regardless because you have to formulate your own opinions about it. Is there hate involved? Is there racist hate? Yes, 100%. My thing is do the research and decide whether white supremacist or just... Your garden variety, normal, all American, racist. Um, so, you know, and look at the connections with the Proud Boys um, and their actions. And even though the Proud Boys are divided into two groups now, you have those that wouldn't allow anyone uh, other than white, whatever, in there. And then you have those that are in the other group which Gavin is a part of, which is accepted people who were black, Asian, and other, almost any other ethnic group. Um, but that happened with the skinheads as, as well. Um, so that doesn't mean there isn't this festering hate um, and destructiveness that's been festering in the country for a long time. Yes. Yes. And don't you think yes, that should be up to so Barnes and Noble whether or not they have him? Do you think you've yeah. done more more research than Barnes and Noble? Have you done more research than Barnes and Noble? And let's say Tom is right then. Post it upstairs for a book signing. Here's the best. Please send it to you. That's the he can write and hold anything he wants. Does it mean that people can't go against what he wrote? It's not. It's not. Hitler wrote what he wanted. Hitler wrote a book. Hitler wrote what he wanted. Right? Do you understand that what you do is more detrimental? What you do is more detrimental to him than anything he's ever done to you or any other person or any other person. He can write. He can write whatever he likes to write. 
but like not to say that anything that is written is inappropriate. It's a book about his life story. It's his life story as a DJ, basically coming from nothing and making something of himself. That's what the book is about. Just so that you're not misled. Just so this guy doesn't mislead you. The book is about someone who made good from nothing. That's what it is. It's got nothing to do with white supremacy. And I'd like everyone to know that. This book has nothing to do with white supremacy at all. Her opinion is that my brother is a white supremacist. That's her opinion and her opinion only. I have an opinion. He's not. How's that? That's clear. That's clear. Yeah. Very clear, sir. I thought it was. I thought it can't be any more clear. Very clear. Very clear. Very clear. Very clear. I would buy you a I would buy you a Starbucks just to have a five minute conversation with you. I'm not interested. I didn't think you would be. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't be either. But I don't know. Who's going to? Who's going to? But it wasn't. Well, this was good. Good. No, well, I mean, like I said, the fact that people are talking is a good thing. I mean, if it was a bunch of Trump, the Trump groups, it would be, you know. And it's absolutely amazing. Okay, good luck with your protest. Have fun. See you later, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Good night. Okay, again, uh, that was his brother. He's always going to protect his brother no matter what. I mean, anybody would do that, ideally protect family. Um, and he's going to defend his brother no matter what. Okay. Like I said, everyone's definition. Um, White supremacists or all grown, all American, homegrown racists. Um, you know, those are the two choices. Um, and based on his track record, even forgetting about his associations, if you just go on the track record of what he said, what he has done, you know, he definitely fits into. The racist category and if he's going ahead saying it's like well he has black friends like, that does not mean that you are not a racist just because you happen to have black friends or Asian friends you can still be a racist and have black friends I know a lot of people they have black friends but they're not necessarily going to go take them home to dinner or marry you know it's the guy in the red hat he was some nut that just happened to be going by Oh, he's here again. Really? It's okay? Well, they're on a way, dude. It makes a lot of sense. Follow me. Yeah, can I tell you? Oh, awesome. Can you call Martin Nobles also and tell him? I'm going to talk to him on my Awesome. That's a serious statement. You don't get a picture for free. Well, yeah. Call Martin Nobles and tell him. You need to be scared again. I don't know why they're not. It's true. Upstairs, the kids section, Barnes and Noble. Oh man, that was good. In the kids section. That's, 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 that's the kids section. That's what I was saying. Right next to the kids, man. Nice I mean, the, the fact that he beat his wife. The fact that he beat his wife should negate him from being over near the kids section. It shouldn't be in the kids section. Yeah, it yeah, shouldn't be there at all, but that's really a good one. You know, that's that's a good one. You know, of all places, why you put them next to the kids? Jesus Christ. I mean, and they were right. It's like, he has a right to write a book. He has a right to promote the book. There's nothing against that. It's like, I, I understand. It's like you're telling your life. And we do too. But the issue is with them promoting and giving a flat, you know. They also have the right to say no. Yeah. They have a right to say no. I mean, no. they would still That's carry his book. A book doesn't mean they have I to mean, promote it. if they were just carrying his book, I wouldn't have an issue. It's like, it's out there. That's yeah, they got a platform. Right. Which is more, which is legitimizing hate, which is already happening under the current administration. And I spend enough time in D.C. to see and hear the conversations that are going on that the general public never hears. The profiteering off the atmosphere that's been created. Yeah. 
Well, I will tell you this, that Barnes & Noble is getting a lot of calls right now uh, about this. Um, if you look in the conversation thread, Kat actually added in the phone number. Okay, man. Definitely. Okay, with everyone that's supposed to be down here, um, if they're not down here, um, within over the next um, 30, 40 some minutes, um, we're probably going to end the event early. Uh, just, just out of lack of numbers. Yeah, there's a, a lot going on. Um, it's numbers upon numbers. Um, so, like, my grandmother was right? NYPD, well, First Precinct wasn't going to send anyone down unless Barnes & Noble said there was a large enough number. And I just know that out of habit. Um, and I think part of that is because, yeah, when I went out through my group, they know who's putting this together and they know basically I try to avoid any major, major um, thing that's going to be too out of hand, especially something like this. Now, if you had a huge group of the Proud Boys show up, like the ones that were at the Republican Club, that would be another issue. Um, that would be a no holds barred throwdown out here. No, thank you for sharing that out and getting people to call. I appreciate that. Um, I know people have been calling ahead of time also. Um, and they said the exact same thing. You said that, you know, Barnes & Noble, you know, people are happy to go ahead and take the calls and take the input from people in the community um, about this book signing. There's no room in New York for hate. Hopefully it's not good. I hope. I hope. I hope you don't feel good about it. Call Barnes & Noble. Tell them to stop posting white supremacists. And yes, I will be looking at the book, but I will be looking at it online. I will not be contributing to it. I love how, I love how his brother says it. He made it in MS Paint, so it doesn't... His brother <laughs> made it a fucking thing. A brother made it a thing right here. Well, his brother made it a whole the book. only thing I will say, at least... It wasn't a violent, you know, no, a, a physical, and that's, no, he just talk, he just but that's talk. good. Because some people he look at it as like, I don't care. I know they don't care, but I have to yeah. tell them anyway. I know. All right. Oh, I just realized they do have access, don't they? I just realized. Yeah. It's over because I called them. And he said, we know he's a white supremacist. We're still hosting him. Call 
get to know the town could not host white supremacists, please. Of course. Thank you. Like they have one right now. So oh. Barnes and Noble corporates said they know he's a white supremacist and yes! they're still hosting him. Yes, they know he's a white. They told me that on the phone. So Barnes and Noble on the phone said they they know that he's a white supremacist, they but they're still going to host him. That's why they hired extra security upstairs. Oh my God. So basically, Barnes and Noble is Barnes Noble saying he is a white supremacist. White supremacists being hosted upstairs. And Barnes and Noble actually has said he's a white supremacist. <laughs> oh, wow. So that's an even more of a statement. So, yeah, keep the calls going into corporate. Um, they hired extra security. Well, Barnes & Noble knows he's a white supremacist. They said it. It's like they've hired all this extra security um, to be down here. Yeah. He's just doing his job. But they're doing it because they want to protect the white supremacists. The same thing that the um, happened with the NYPD over at the Republican Club is happening here. There seems to be this climate of protect the white supremacists. Something that if you talk to any, if you've been in this country long enough and you have relatives that fought in World War II, you realize that they fought against Nazi Germany white supremacy, all of that, died for it in order to bring it down, and now you have a country and a generation that's actually protecting white supremacists. It's like, really? And Barnes and Noble has point blank said they know he is a white supremacist, but they're still going to host him. So call Barnes and Noble, let them know that you're not happy. I will say, a lot of them. Is there another piece of cardboard over yeah, there? Yeah, right over there. Right Pens and paper. Yeah. Of no book signings for white supremacists. I mean, they can't have a lot of things. Like, well, the fact. Have, I don't want them to have joy or no. happiness. Well, they're getting a lot of calls. Fulfillment. They're getting. White supremacists upstairs at Barnes and Nobles. You call them and tell them not to. Like they are right now. No place in this country, in this state, for a white supremacist period. And Barnes and Noble said that they know he's a white supremacist. That's the reason they hired more security okay, for his book sense. signing. I'm like, it's on lockdown up there. It is? Yeah. yeah. And I didn't know why. Because Anthony <laughs> Kumina is a white supremacist who was banned from Twitter for being a white supremacist and then wrote a book about it and is now selling it at Barnes and Noble and then signing it. And he's a white supremacist. So... From what we're hearing from people on the inside is that they have his book signing on a lockdown with all the extra security. Um, okay, if um, everyone share this um, feed out because like I said, there's a number of people who are supposed to have been coming down. Um, yeah, it would be nice to get a larger number of people on down here. Um, yeah, we need to make a statement. In addition to the calls, we need to make a statement down here.
I'll give you the number right here. Because someone's Barnes been posting it out on there. There we go. Upstairs Five, right now. Wait, what is it? Two, oh, two and two. 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 No, uh -huh. I'm signing for white supremacists. Uh -huh. Barnes and Noble, stop Five, posting three, white eight, supremacists. Eight, eight, and that's got to be for here. Say no more. Say no more. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, if you're in New York, uh, we're one block from the Chamber Street. Uh, one, two, three, stop. Come on down. Even if you come on down for 15, 20 minutes, come on down. He's probably going to be up there doing the book signing from, well, he starts at 6. He's probably going to be going till 7, 7.30 maybe. Uh, I'm not sure how long book signings normally go. Uh, and it does depend on how many people are here. Um, but yeah, make your voice heard. Um, if you want, you know, go on inside. Things are in lockdown. But hey, um, also call Barnes and Noble. They're well aware of it. Even the people walking by laughing. Um, that's how you can tell the difference. Call Barnes and Noble. Tell them that's pretty basic. Yeah, not in New York. Shouldn't be. Um, you know. The fact that Barnes & Noble is aware of this fact, um, and there's no doubt that they're aware of the fact, um, the fact that they've hired all these extra security guards for his book signing. They don't even hire that many security guards for Hillary Clinton when she was doing a book signing. No book signing for white supremacists. No room for hate in New York. Yeah, it is crazy. Trust me, you're reaching a lot of people also online where people are calling, so... Oh, I'm so glad. It's not I'm just here. So much. They're doing an amazing job. This would not be possible. Remember, sometimes the smallest actions have the largest impact. Um, it's similar to the butterfly effect. One small thing uh, has an impact that impacts people all over the world forever. And this is what's happening here. People will research, people will look, people will become educated. Uh, people will become well in more well-informed. And... A little bit of history to throw in. I basically, if you go back two generations, I have a portion of my family that was actually in Nazi Germany. And on that part of the family line was an individual who helped to develop the weapons for Hitler and his people. So... A lot of times when I hear people who are these professed white supremacists, um, no, they really have no idea because most of them would not have been included within that category. The American white supremacists are a whole other ball game that would never have been included in what they glorify Nazi Germany. Um, just a little side note on that but as far as this goes yeah. and Barnes and Noble has admitted it on online and actually they said they know he's a white supremacist they hired like 20 extra security guards I mean if, if you ever if you get a chance if you get a chance, check out 
Opie and a Anthony and Opie, Opie and Anthony, the show, he got fired from there because of all of his racist tweets and because of an incident in Times Square. And then he ended up beating this crap out of his wife. So it's like, and it's not about his book. Anyone can have a book, but you shouldn't be promoting white support, you know. So, okay, I'm going to switch back over again. Um, being a, but Barnes & Noble, I told you, they basically were going to wait until they had to call NYPD. Uh, so they called the first precinct, first precinct, I'm assuming, um, which had to send out four officers for two people, uh, which is a little excessive. Um, Timony, I know you're up there around Union Square, but I wish you were down here. You probably would have only sent down like two officers just to stand by and make sure people weren't blocking the doorways and stuff. Uh, but they also have 20 security guards upstairs with Barnes & Noble locked down around that. It's like excessive. Oh, uh, anyone from City Hall or 1PP actually listening on the stream, as you guys always do. Um, you know, because I know you guys tune in any, every once in a while. Or um, NYPD Legal, if you're tuning in, you know he tunes in. Both of them, actually. A few of them that have been around for a long time. If you're tuning in on this, um, you know, call First Precinct and let them know they only need, like, one or two officers. And they can send at least two of them away. It would be nice. If the numbers increase, you'll see it on the stream. You know that. Sorry, guys. That's my rant to, uh, you know, people in New York City government and NYPD. Um, tonight, I'm not going to mess with them. Normally, I would, but... I'm not going to do that tonight. Um, I think I put them through enough hell, or SRG through enough hell when we were doing Occupy ICE. Um, I think they were getting a lot of flack when you had like their, those higher up actually watching my stream and pulling them back on a lot of things. But as far as this, tonight, tonight is about Anthony Camilla and his racist rants. Basically, there's no room in New York City for racist white supremacist ideals. Here you go. Here you go, right here. Trust me, nobody's gonna rush them. Why, it's like, guys, relax. Why would you think people are gonna rush people? This is only a couple of people. You got all those security people. Jesus. No one's gonna rush anybody. <laughs> <laughs> it's like too many it's way too many not even Hillary Clinton had these many when she was here uh, come on a second. I know your brother uh, say I know your brother talked to us but do you want to just anything okay I'm just, I just asked because he was giving his side so I figured I'd ask Okay. I mean, no, I respect your, I respect the opinion. Yeah, you're right. You're also one that said language is a racist. You're fucking racist. Fuck you too. Okay, so for Anthony, uh, we have this. Uh, so the book signing is over. I'm assuming part of it had to do with the um, thing here. So that was the reason for all of that. Basically, you've got one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. About ten. You fucking got that on video, right? Yeah. Oh my god, he said that to me. That's hilarious. He got my fucking. He's like, oh my god. I got. I don't know what I got. I just know my. It was in the areas, but. Yo, there was more cops than people who showed up to get the. It was overboard with the security and stuff. I'll admit that. It. It. That was overboard. When they were like there, I'm like, nobody's gonna jump anybody. Why? It was like, 
it wouldn't be unprecedented if so. No, but you, you know, you understand what I'm saying. It was like one, two. Oh, over the yeah. yeah. But, that, but that's what I'm saying. You do know that, right? Anthony's manager is a retired cop, so. That's why that's he. Why, that's why he the, the over. I mean, yeah, because I was like, even Hillary didn't have that much. Yeah, she no, was no, here, and I was like, okay. We know cops protect races. We saw that. Y'all protect races. I protect everybody. No, you protect everybody. <laughs> you know you don't. No, you don't. Because if you really protect everybody, you can't Right. Yeah, probably. Protect nobody. Y'all let people get beat up in 86th Street. So come on now, you ain't protect Mark. nobody. So don't really talk. Come did on, you, don't really say you protect him everybody. Ask him if he needs to deal with me. No, that he isn't here. He that is Because he said, no, she's my friend. Well, he wouldn't do that because he wouldn't be dumb enough. Because I would live stream that, and I guarantee no, no, no. NYPD legal would rip you a new asshole if that actually was Leo, recorded Leo on here. Because, no, seriously, if you mention Apollo to NYPD legal, they will tell you, do not let me record you saying something or you will get ripped a new asshole by NYPD legal. Why would he say she's like, my friend? Why would he talk yeah. about me unless Munoz was talking to him about whether yeah. or not he had to do something about me? Yeah, it's possible. You were right there. You recorded. Go back. Well, and I'll play see. That I'll end up seeing it. I'll end up seeing it. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. It's uh -huh. like basically saying that it's like he was asking you if you needed him to do anything about her. Oh, no. No, he's my never. friend, right? No. I would never do that. No, you would never. I wouldn't do that anyway. No, he asked you if you needed Did him you? to do anything. If he did, um, I didn't need any help, so it's not an issue. Yeah, that would have really been like... I'm just waiting for my sister. It's a good Barnes & Noble. It's a, it's a big Barnes & Noble. It's Go get something to eat, relax, you know. Shit gets built up. A lot of shit's been said. A lot. He's he's put a lot out there. Controlling that anger online is a big issue. You know that. It is. Oh, here you go, guys. In case you guys understand, I'll find out what company they're with. Um, if it was DC, it would probably be BlackRock and a lot of those guys I know. Um, a lot of them are ex-military and have done different contract jobs, but yeah. Um, but statements made, um, yeah, I mean, definitely keep calling in, uh, the numbers are up there, um, like I said earlier, it's like World War II, you had so many Americans that fought to shut down Nazi Germany, the fascist systems there. And there are generations here in New York that don't understand that because they've lost touch. They've become spoiled because they didn't have to fight against any of that in their lives. And they're spoiled brats. Iraq was a war. The Middle East was a war. But what happened? World War II and World War they will never have an idea about. The fact that you have fascists and white supremacists rising in the United States, the shit is not happening, and that shit is not going into New York. If you ever watch the movie Casablanca, there is a scene where Rick is talking to the Nazi general, and then I says, would you ever envision us in your great America? And he said, well, there are certain parts of New York I wouldn't advise you to invade. In reality, New York does not stand for this shit. New Yorkers that are real New Yorkers would not stand for any of this shit. And if you ever think it's going to actually happen here, it isn't. New Yorkers, real New Yorkers will band together. They don't give a shit whether the police are protecting the white supremacists, uh, the armies are. They will shut the shit down. It will not happen in this state. Statements been made to Barnes and Noble. They got shit tons of calls in there, and the people that actually work for Barnes and Noble were actually glad to take all the calls. And 
And actually, do you guys want me to give you a list of all the crimes that are happening in the area? I actually have done on a separate feed that you guys actually could be covering right now instead of being out here for something like this. This isn't why you guys became police officers, not to do this stuff. You actually came out here to shut down the robberies that are happening right now, the assaults, the car accidents, uh, the drug deals that are going on. Those are things are not at right now. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, you could pull it up that you guys could actually be dealing with. And I'm being fair by saying this is that's really what you guys would really so rather be doing. That's why you did it. Is officers actually requesting assistance? They're not going to run to it unless they get a command. There's there could be an fire. officer getting shot around the corner and they will stand here until they're told to go there. There's a machete branding right now. There's a pedestrian that was struck by a vehicle. Pedestrian struck by a vehicle and they're doing what they've been trained to do, stand There's there and just do this. Because they're scared we're going to rush in there even though Anthony is not in there right now. There's so they have to right wait. Now at a laundry room no, that's not their job. No, 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 okay, no. Okay, what about the two suspects just detained after a brief support right, right, right near here? Uh, uh, no, 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 no. That's not near here. Yeah, it, it's not their jurisdiction. It's not their district. So. Yeah, to oh, Broadway's their jurisdiction because there's a bank robber. No. Nah. There's only two of them. They get shot and they're too scared of getting shot. You get shot once, it's actually not that bad afterwards. I mean, you have your, you have your buddy laying right next to you getting blown up. There's an assault right now. Just been veterans stay with a shit ton of veterans from Korea, Vietnam, Iraq. Yeah, even they can't understand this shit when we were sitting around talking. Hey. Hey guys, uh, I'd advise you guys to take a look at the feed from earlier. Um, yeah, these guys, they're just being stuck here right now. And a minute ago, explaining them that I'm pretty sure they didn't join the force to actually stand here because of two people outside Barnes & Noble. Considering they still have about 10 hired, extra hired security guards inside, there really isn't anything going on except the phone calls and one person with a sign right now. <laughs> but the new commander at First Precinct, it's not. Well, yeah. It's like the buddy system. Well, well, that's a whole other issue. Yeah. See, Timony, if you're watching, please come back to First Precinct. Because these guys really do not know what they're doing. And the commander down there has no idea. Needs someone with experience. At least Lombardo would come down and drag us into the middle of the street. That at least would be something. But, oh, that's right. He can't be near a protest any longer. Because of how violent he was. Even though all the other officers were saying, No, we're just here to protect and serve. Yeah. And I consider it, considering how many people that are related that are in law enforcement of one type or another. Yeah. The realities of what actually goes on when the public isn't around or what they actually talk about when the public isn't around. Is their job an easy job? No. 90% of you would not want to do their job because of the shit that they see and go through. I understand that. But that doesn't give an excuse. They're held to a higher standard. And when you know they could be doing other things that are more important as opposed to standing here, there's an issue. Yeah, a ton of people have already called them right now, and... Uh, if they're like the other ones, should be... Pinched. 
No, you guys don't have to think. We'll be gone before then, so you're out of here. Now I'm just letting her know. It's like, yeah, we're going to be out of here soon. Well, you guys can leave once we leave, right? You don't have to, like, do the shut-off part. I understand, but I'm saying, because that's normal even with the march or something. It's basically, we're going to, if there's not a ton of people, it's like, and he's already left, too, so that's the whole thing. I mean, as long as he was here, we were going to be outside here. Um, but since he's left, what time? No, can you tell me what time it is? Or Okay. Thank you. I like within the next 15 minutes. Uh, just for uh, update also, earlier today, the local news, you had a turkey giveaway at one police plaza, actually, uh, where they were giving out turkeys to the community. Um, so there are another side to stuff that happens. I try to show both sides as much as I can. And trust me, a lot of people got fed, and a lot of people are going to have a happy Thanksgiving where they wouldn't have had food. A lesson to be learned from this for everyone is if you're passionate about something, whether it's a street light out in your community, uh, potholes, make your voice heard, take a stand, call your representatives, you know, department head. If there's an issue, you know, take a stand. It does, you don't need large numbers in order to do that. Um, that's how you bring about making change. You guys are in first precinct. They weren't up. Wait, no, no, wait, wait, wait. No if I go to jail, watch this. Hold on, wait. If I go to jail, and I rob a car, and the guy in the car robs somebody, I ain't robbing nobody, but I'm still complacent. I'm with them. Yeah, you've got like three of us here right now. Um, Anthony Camilla actually left a few minutes ago, and if you look at the stream earlier, you'll see he came down the escalator, uh, surrounded by about 15 uh, private security that uh, Barnes & Noble had had, as well as four NYPD officers that had actually driven up and we're in there to escort him out and across the street. Um, we're actually going to be leaving in a few minutes because it was basically for why he, while he was here. Um, what I do know is that they had his area where he was doing the book signing completely locked down, um, as well as Barnes & Noble corporate and the store itself getting a ton of calls. Uh, considering the book signing started at 6 o'clock and he left out of here by 6.30, I'm pretty sure part of it had to do with all the calls that they were getting um, and also the low number of people that were probably coming up for book signings. And a lot of the people that went in were probably asking him questions about 
the protest outside. So, you know, saying that... Um, yeah, I know. And... Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hold on a minute. Uh, I want to thank everyone for tuning in. Um, I will see you in the front lines. I'm going to be back up later with something else. Um, I won't go into it right now at this place, um, but I will be back up later. Thanks for tuning in.